Kansas City is only one murder away from a grim milestone. So far, 153 people have been killed in 2020. That ties the all time high set back in 1993. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. It's October 20th and we've tied a record and there's still 71 days left in the year. Each victim has left behind a number of loved ones whose lives will never be the same. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman spoke to a group of moms who know firsthand the overwhelming grief behind these numbers. Each time another person is killed in Kansas City, volunteers with KC Mothers in Charge know their list of families needing support will grow. Every month they're calling between 350 and 400 families to let them know they are not alone. Well, my name is Pamela. These weekly phone calls can be a lifeline for families experiencing immense pain due to deadly violence in Kansas City. We're always going to be here for you no matter what. Yes, ma'am. If you just want to talk. KC Mothers in Charge volunteers began calling the families of murder victims in 2014. The calls are tough to make. Just take it one day at a time. But they matter to the people on the other end of the line. She was like, I didn't know what I was going to do. She said, I didn't know what my day was going to be like. She said, I didn't know if I want to live until you called me. They just called to check on you. The mothers on this end of the line know what it's like to have someone stolen from you. My son was murdered in 2014. In 2009, I lost my 17-year-old son. And I, I know what it's like. I never tell a mother I know your pain, but I know of the pain. I really cry because, wow, it just tugs on my heart strength because I've been there and I know the pain. During calls, volunteers can answer questions, direct families to therapy and counseling, or simply listen. Life does go on after our funerals, but for us, we have to find where life begins again. So that's why we're here. As they witness Kansas City's homicide rate increase to record levels, they'll support the families left behind who will join a long list that they wish did not have to exist. It can stay positive, it can stay safe, okay? Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. They're doing incredible work. Police Chief Rick Smith says the homicide rate has gone down since Operation Legend began. Before federal agents came to KC, we were averaging five and a half homicides every week. During Operation Legend, that dropped to 4.3. In the three weeks since agents left, the average has dropped to two a week.